Okay, so I want to talk about what I think is the major fault with massage therapy, and I think we really do our industry a major disservice by doing this, okay? I don't want you to be this massage therapist. You are already so far ahead just from what you're teaching your client, they know they're in an expert's hands, right? So here's what, okay, let me just go back a step. You went to see an osteopath, physiotherapist, chiropractor for a pain, let's say for neck pain. Let's just say a chiropractor, for, for example. What would do? Well, they'd do their assessments, they would do their treatments, and then what would they do? Would they just say, bye? No, they don't do that, do they? Why? Because they, you, you go to see them because you want your neck pain fixed. Now, you might already feel fantastic, but what will they say? You know, they will say, well, we've got your hips realigned, um, we've loosened up that bed, there's a lot of stickiness in those joints, in the facet joints, in the th thoracic, which has been doing whatever they're saying, right? Um, so I need you to come back in about three days, three, four days at max. I'm just saying this as an example, right? Uh, because we've come a long way, and I know you're feeling great now, but we don't want this to come back, and there's still, I found a lot of muscle spasm and imbalances, and blah, 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 right? They are, they are telling you what they found and their recommendations. And of course you come back, right? Because you, you don't want that neck pain to come back, do you? And you know you're, this person is the professional, this is their personal opinion, and yeah, I'll come back because I sure as heck don't want this neck pain, right? What happens to the nine out of 10 massage therapists? You go along, uh, you get a massage, you got neck pain, maybe you feel fantastic, right? Maybe you still got some pain, whatever the case, or maybe you're still in excruciating pain. But what are they doing? Okay, well, let's just see how you get on. All right, yeah, just give me a call if you need me, right? That is miles away, worlds away from the chiropractor who's basically, well, not insisting, but they are saying, these are my recommendations from my professional opinion and experience and knowledge and blah, blah, blah. This is what I recommend you do. And then you make that decision. Nine out of 10 people will go, yeah, I'm coming back, you know, especially if they, they've still got some pain. The massage therapist, how, however, will generally, and I don't want you to be this person because here's what happened. You've already set yourself up with the information that you've got, how you've already educated your client, you're giving them specific exercises, you've taught them perhaps about pinched nerves and what to expect. So that is already well away from the massage therapy. Yeah, come in, oh, you got neck pain? Okay, I'll give you a full body massage, right? No, I want you to be the expert in the field. This is why I've put this series of massage therapists treating, you know, back pain, plantar fasciitis, etc., etc., because I want you to be I want you to be, so, so that, you know, one of the problems, 30 years of massage therapy, a lot of people still see just massage as a feel good thing, like it or not. A lot of people just go, you know, ah, yeah, just get there to relax. But if they're in pain, they'll go see their osteo, their physio, their chiropractor, their, you know, but massage is just seen as just a nice thing, de stress, you know, but really, you're not, they're not seen as someone to go for, you know, unless you have a specific rep reputation, you're, uh, you're well versed in what you're doing, uh, the vast majority are just going to be you know, relaxation massage therapists. Be more than that. I really want you to be more. So when you do your treatment, and I'll give you the, the you know, let's, okay, it's easy if they're still in pain. Yeah? They're feeling better, but they're still in pain. And you tell them, you recommend that they come back. All right? Now, if, you find, if you've got good palpation skills and you've found, you know, trigger points or, uh, and I would say something like, like this, um, because especially you know, when you're working, and they might say something like, oh, that's sore there, you know, maybe a knot, a trigger point, this sort of thing. So then you can reinforce that. So again, nothing is untrue about you. You don't say, I found this, that, if you didn't, obviously that's unethical. You know, so, but you could say, look, we've, you, yeah, there was tightness, there was spasm, there was imbalances, whatever you are capable of saying, honestly, you know, what you found, um, even if it's as simple as there was a lot of tension in here and there's still a lot of tension, I, you know, we don't want this, this neck pain to come back. I know you're feeling much better now, but I uh, highly advise you come back you know, within three to four days. Let's, you know, let's, let's remove those. There's still some muscle spasm or there's still tight muscles. So you, you felt those ropey bands. Oh yeah, yeah, I did feel that. Yeah, they're really sore up there. Yeah, so we want to decrease that tension. Whatever you find, reinforce that with the client. We've still got this. Um, even though you're feeling much better, I recommend you come back so, you know, because we want to avoid this. 
The other thing that's important, right? So you got that, right? Just like the chiropractor, you, uh, they will talk about misalignment of the spine, the subluxations, that's chiropractic speak, osteopathic speak. You will be talking on a muscular basis. You know, so again, from whatever your findings, um, if you found that they're, they're really, so you can start talking about, you know, um, I need you to come back because you're still decreased in your rotations because you know you're going to give them rotations uh, more than likely later on. So let's just say you had the client. Okay, look, I know you're feeling much better now, but we're still decreasing. You still, you know, we, so I want to give you another exercise when you come back um, to increase your range of movement. So you know, so you can, you don't have to use the mirror when you want to reverse out uh, because you can't turn your head. So you start thinking on those levels. So um, to open up your chest, so we're still. So there's a lot of, you know, because this has been a long-term thing, what I really want to do is work through your pectoral muscles next time we see you. Even though your neck's feeling great, we've still got major imbalances. As you can see, we want to help with your posture. So you get the idea. So you, you're going to recommend to get them. Now, this is going to um, obviously go, going to give you more money, okay, because you're helping your people. Now, remember, you want to be that person like I was when I was treating people, that they come to see for their lower backs, their plantar fat, their tennis elbow, their neck pain, their this, their that, because they trust your opinion, they trust your professionalism, and they know that what you're saying is legitimate. It's, you know, this is your professional opinion, and you've helped them in the past, and you'll help them again, okay? So what that does is, that sets you up from just those massage therapists that are just, okay, see how you get on, yeah, or, or sorry, it still feels sore, but you know, I did the best, yeah, whatever, right? You, no, no, you are that person that's going, okay, I need you to come back for this reason, all right? And those reasons will be, as I said to you, coming from your heart, from your, your professional opinion and your knowledge, whatever that is, okay? So, as I said to you, so then they're going to come back. They're going to be super happy. They're going to come back, and whether they've still got a little bit of pain or they're feeling great, who doesn't want to come back for a massage? So you come back, you can then check that they were doing the exercise, especially if they're still in pain. Were well, you doing them every hour? Okay, so how's that pain? And again, I've, I've mentioned this in many, many courses. People forget, so they, so like for example, do you still have pain in your arm? Yeah, yeah. Oh, is it still down, right, all the way down? Oh, uh, you know, no, no, it's only, it's just up in the shoulder. Oh, well remember like, when you first came to see me, you had pain right the way down, all the way down, and yes, you had numbness in your fingers. Do you still have the numbness in the fingers as well? Yeah. Are you sleeping? Is it still painful to sleep? All these things, because then you're gonna, because they, they, people forget, clients forget. So they go, oh, actually, yeah, and I haven't even taken a pain kit. Yeah, you're still on pain kit. You see, so you not only are you getting the back, which is gonna help you, it's going to help them. They will get better, and they, so what you're doing is reinforcing that you are uh, you're an expert in your field at treating this problem and that problem and that problem and so they will come back to you because they're getting results they've had results before so you see what happens so rather than and of course that's going to build your business and it's going to build your reputation you know a one massage hit and hope is that so maybe they go and then maybe they do feel great but then you know within two days they get the pain's back what do you reckon the chances of them going to see you are you know when someone's there at a dinner party says oh i had a really bad neck oh, i went and saw my osteopath he's great Give, my, give me a hit. Oh, I've got his card here. You see, you've lost that client. And now that osteopath, maybe they got him in for four, five, six clients, uh, six sessions, okay? And they, they feel great. Where do you reckon they're going for the next, say, uh, lower back pain, shoulder pain, fill in the blank pain, right? They're going to the osteopath, aren't they? Because that person taught them, okay? And so that's you. That is now you, all right? When it comes to neck pain, you'll teach them about the causes. You'll teach them about what they need to do at home. You'll advise them. You'll recommend things. You'll get them back. And you, you know, whether it takes so many sessions, you're doing this because you know this is what's going to need to be done. Just like any other therapist, you know, you know you'll probably need, there's chronic stress, tension, what have you. And you can follow up on them. And they're going to love you for it because they feel cared for and that's what they want. They know that you're doing your best to get them out of pain, you know, get rid of their symptoms, and so you're gonna be looking after them. And that's the massage therapist I want you to be, the one that's gonna get them back in. Of course, you know, the side thing is, you'll make more money, you'll get more referrals, you'll get more business, because they'll be telling their friends instead of the osteopath, oh no, I went there, yeah, I, I just think I went four or five sessions, 
And oh my God, I had no idea. He showed me that, you know, and so you see what's going on. That is, as I say, worlds away. You will transform your business, you will transform your clients, you're gonna have happier, healthier clients and a thriving business when you start doing this, if you're not already.